Oh, what happened there? Hi folks, in this video we're going to be taking a look at Flextail's new zero pump. They are saying that this is basically the smallest pump in the world. So let's get stuck right in with an unboxing. Right, so let's open it up and see what we've got. So in the inside cover here, you'll see there we've got the evolution of Flextail's pumps. I've got the tiny pump too, and now we've got the zero pump. This little leaflet here has some instructions. You've got the pump itself. You've got a little lanyard and you've got the nozzle, which may look different depending on what pump you've got. This is apparently a prototype, so your one might look a little bit different when it arrives, but this is for the X-PED mats, which I've got two of. So this weighs 60 grams, that includes the um, nozzle there, and if we open it up, excuse this, it can be a little bit screechy, inside you've got a 650 milliamp battery made by Nightco. So we we'll just pop that back inside, and what we'll do now is we'll test it, see how long it takes to pump up my mat. You may remember when I reviewed the Tiny Pump Times 2 in the hotel room. And the winner is... The Pump. It took 1 minute and 21 seconds to blow this big X-PED winter mat up. So what we'll do now is we'll time this one and see how they compare. So like all the other flex tail pumps, you've got an inflation side and you've obviously got your deflation side. So I'm going to pop this on this side for inflation, obviously. So the good thing about the X-PEDs, these should be pretty easy just to insert, like so. There you go. And there we go. And we're off. So one minute 21 to beat this little bad boy here. 13 seconds. I'll put the timer on the bottom corner anyway. That is right about halfway, 40 seconds. We're going to have a winner here. It certainly seems quieter than the, the tiny pump times two. Oh, got a minute now. I don't think we're going to have a winner. One minute ten. Oh. Not quite. There's a minute 21 now. I remember it being a little bit firmer than that. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll take that there. <laughs> so that's one minute 36 there. Okay, so what we'll do now so we'll use my free season mat. This was rapid. I used it in the buffet last weekend and I think it was something like, it felt like 30 seconds. It could have been longer, but just out of interest. We'll do this one as well. To get this going, it's a double press, so that saves it getting hopefully pressed in your rucksack. There we go. Oh, what happened there? Well that's interesting, it stopped working, so I'm wondering if the battery has ran out already. So whilst off camera I got all my mats folded up, put back away in the cupboard, gave us a very quick charge just to see that it actually still works. So what we'll do is we'll just do the double press. And phew, it's still working, that is a relief. We'll just turn it off. 
So based on my test, I got one inflation at the weekend, my free season uh, Exped Sin mat, and then I got one full inflation as well of the bigger down mat. So that would suggest to me you'd probably get three inflations of a, a regular sort of free season mat. Um, so it's only for one or two nights away. So bear that in mind because uh, it's got the 650 milliamp battery built in. There is one fundamental flaw, and I don't know if you noticed during my unboxing, there is no charger to be seen. So if you open this up, you'll remember that 650 milliamp battery comes out. There's no USB-C or even a micro USB port to charge that. So this is the fundamental flaw. Right, after making that video, I was just about to put it on YouTube, quite happy with it. I then got an email from Flextail basically saying that the battery will include a battery charger or a battery with a USB-C input in the final product. So this is just a test batch. So this has left me a bit annoyed because it seems to be a bit of an own goal. Why would you send a prototype and then change it? when it's meant to be released today. It's put me in an awkward position. I had to buy that charger that I showed you earlier. Uh, so I had to go out with the dog, cool down for a bit, think this through. I was going to just scrap the video completely, but I thought, no, I'm going to post it, just be honest. So um, I'm not happy. Uh, it's got potential to be a good device. If it comes out with that all-important USB charger, then fair enough. But otherwise, stick with the tiny pump times too. Uh, I'll let you watch the rest of the view from earlier on. <laughs> sake. If you want to buy one of these, you'll need a separate charger, something like this. This was a cheap one off Amazon, it cost me $8.99. I had to buy that with more money just to review the product, so that to me could be a deal breaker for some people. You just slot that in and let it charge up on your laptop or wherever you'd like to plug that in. So yeah, if you don't mind buying a charger, if you've already got one of these, fair enough. But to summarise, to finish off, if you want an electric inflatable pump, get this one here. This is the Flextail Tiny Pump Times 2 cracking little device. This comes from everywhere and it's got that light as well um, for lighting up your tent at night. It's brilliant. Would I recommend that? Maybe for the minimalist? But no, definitely want that one. So yep, that's all I've got time for. Hope you find that useful and I'll catch you next one. Cheers.